Hello everyone, I'm Jeff Stanley with Stan Hagen Craft, and today we're gonna to be talking about Flaming Candles' new sampler pack, The Winter Wanderlust. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into this one. I just got their new sampler pack. It's been out for a little bit. Uh, I've been meaning to make a video on this one, so here it is. Uh, I just opened these up a little while ago. I haven't actually opened the individual samples, so I'm gonna go ahead and, just like the previous videos, go ahead and open these up, get a smell for them, and then look at the website, which I've got open right here, and go through kind of some of the notes that are in each of these. And as you can see, I'm kind of testing out a new kind of studio space. I started to put some stuff on the wall in the upstairs office so I could actually do videos in a couple different places. So uh, the downstairs one is still up and going. I'm still trying to figure out this one. I don't know exactly what to do. I put the same kind of paneling that I have downstairs in this one, and then I'm gonna throw up some lights so it actually looks decent. But that's it, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into this one. I've got uh, six different ones right here. I'm gonna go ahead and just open up each one of these. Uh, and again, every single one of these, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and name them off right now. I've got Hollyberry, I've got Hollyberry Garland, I've got Snowberry Icicles, I've got Sugar Plum Blossom, Shimmering Snowflake, Gingerbread Martini, and Marshmallow Pine. Now, I haven't actually smelled any one of these. I've never gotten these oils from these guys. I do have a lot of flaming, uh, flaming candle oils, uh, but these are all new to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up since I'm holding it the Marshmallow Pine. And that one's really nice. That's actually a really nice mix. You definitely get the pine in that one if you're a fan of tree scents. Uh, it's not overpowering. Like if you're gonna pick up like a Douglas fir or a uh, balsam or anything like that, you do get the pine in that one, but it's definitely a background scent. And I'm surprised it doesn't come out more than that. I like it. Uh, I thought the pine would just overpower the marshmallow and it's not that way at all. Yeah, the marshmallow is really nice on that one. Uh, real nice kind of soft, sweet marshmallow scent with pine in the background. Uh, yeah, very good scent. And I'm going to see what's on this one. Marshmallow pine. Uh, we're looking at fir needle, orange peel, buttercream, pine sap, warm spices, baked cookie, and powdered sugar. But yeah, on this one, I would definitely say the buttercream and the warm spices on this one definitely stands out quite a bit. And then you get that pine in the background. Definitely a really nice scent, especially if you're looking kind of a twist on uh, any of the tree scents that are out there. All right, the next one I've got is gingerbread martini. Now this one I'm definitely curious about because I don't know how you're gonna mix gingerbread and martini. And that one is really unique. I don't even know what to pick up in that one. Definitely get a little bit of the spice and the gingerbread. I didn't pick that up on the first smell, but I picked it up on the second one for sure. And then there's something in the background. It's got to be part of the martini. I can't even make out what that is. Definitely unique. I'm back and forth on this one. I I, I like it, but I don't know what to pick up. Uh, let me look. Uh, the gingerbread martini is warm apple, coconut milk, gingerbread, caramel, clove, cinnamon, vanilla rum, whipped cream, and cocoa bean. And I'm trying to pick up what that last, that back end scent, I think it might actually be the cocoa bean that's kind of standing out a little bit. I wouldn't have expected that. Definitely the gingerbread and, uh, and the caramel. I don't know if I pick up too much of the clove and definitely don't pick up too much of the clove, which I love clove. Cinnamon a little bit in the background, but definitely the gingerbread. Uh, yeah, probably vanilla, gingerbread, and warm apple are kind of the kind of the standouts for me. But again, a really nice one. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I would put that into just a straight winter or fall category. I mean, it's definitely a winter and fall category. But yeah, that one is really unique also. And that's definitely the one thing I'm noticing in their sampler packs that they've been doing. The summer one and uh, the other one that I picked up. Uh, the sense that they're putting in these is really unique. The next one is going to be the Shimmering Snowflake. Yeah, that's really nice. You get the peppermint immediately in that one. Oh, I pick up peppermint a lot in that. That's nice. I'm trying to think of what else is in that. I mean, you definitely the peppermint stands out for me the most in this one. You get that real nice, cool, uh, that that cool peppermint scent as it hits your nose. Definitely really nice. And I've smelled some other peppermint, uh, like peppermint mixes, peppermint mocha, which smells decent, but uh, it's not one of my favorite scents. But this one is really nice. Uh, and it's got iced mint. Yeah, definitely iced mint. You get that cool peppermint uh, in, in the nose when you smell it. 
uh, black currant, frosted strawberry, whipped vanilla, and white musk. The frosted strawberry, I don't know if I picked that up. Somebody might be able to. And then the white musk in the background. Now, I can definitely pick that up. Yeah, that one is really nice. And again, the peppermint stands out really strong on that one. Uh, the next one I've got here is Sugar Plum Blossom. I'm imagining a little bit of sweet, little floral. Oh, that smells really good. That, that smells really familiar, too. There's a there's a bath product that smells like this. That's really nice. Definitely get the floral. God, it smells so familiar. I don't know what it is, though. I want to say some type of rose is in there or a little bit of rose. That's really nice. Uh, definitely. De I would even put that into like a spring category. You could probably get away with that. In spring, for sure. Definitely winter going into spring. Uh, but, yeah, that one is really nice. And that one is black currant, sparkling wine, sensual rose, dark berries, red apple, sandalwood, and sugar moss. Now, the sandalwood, I don't know if I pick up too much. I definitely get the rose on that one, but it's not an overpowering rose, which rose can definitely do. And then definitely the the sweet from the berries and the red apple. You definitely pick up the sweet. That one is really nice. And again, it smells like a bath product, and I just can't place it, but I love it. That's definitely one of my favorites out of this batch. Uh, the next one is going to be Snowberry Icicles. Definitely pick up the berries in the background of that one. And again, I smell something first, and then the berries uh, come out over the top of that one. And that one is berries, iced champagne, rosebuds, vanilla orchid, pink sugar crystals. Now, the pink sugar is probably what I'm smelling in the base. Yeah, just to hit, like if, you, if, if you've ever smelt pink sugar, the actual, uh, the fragrance oil, pink sugar, you get a hint of that in the background. And then the berries on top of that is, yeah, definitely really nice. I don't know if I pick up the rosebuds. Definitely a little bit of vanilla orchid in that one. Uh, but the berries definitely stand out. And again, that one's really nice too. And honestly, that's a really good mix with pink sugar. If you're a fan of pink sugar, uh, it's very muted for me though. Pink sugar, very muted with the berries over the top of that one. And then the last one I've got here is Hollyberry Garland. Definitely a little more musky. Get a little berry on the top of that one. And again, there's definitely something very familiar. Not like definitely not like a, a baking scent, and I wouldn't have su suspected Hollyberry as being a baking type scent. But I definitely pick up the musk on the back of that one. Uh, so that one, we're looking at red berries, orange peel, juicy blackberry, garland greens, clove bud, balsam fir, and vetiver. The vetiver is what I smell in that one, definitely. Get a little bit of the balsam, like a tree scent in there. It's very faint, but you do get it. And again, these are all subjective. Some people pick out the, the different scents way more than others that I pick up. But I get the vetiver in there, and vetiver mixed well is really nice. And then on that one, you definitely get yeah, the red berries, orange peel, and juicy blackberry. Uh, they don't stand out uh, as being top scents for me, but you do get a little bit of that berry on the back end of that, which is really good. But definitely the berry and the balsam fir on this one definitely stand out the most. I, and that's pretty much it with this one. I think the two for me that stand out, that sugar plum blossom, I like a lot. And then that marshmallow pine, those are probably my two favorites. But again, all six of these smell incredibly nice. Definitely my two favorites out of the six. Uh, but those are easily six that I would pick up and six that could easily go into pretty much any line in there. And then again, the shimmering. I keep going back to the shimmering icicles too with that icy mint or the shimmering snowflake. Yeah, that cool mint scent is really nice. I like that a lot. But that's pretty much it with these oils. I know these have been out for a little bit and there's a lot of people who have been using these. So if anybody's out there watching the video and you have used these, please let me know which one out of the six is your favorite. 
And if any of these stand out and you'd like to know a little bit more about any one of the six that I mentioned, please let me know what you think or what your question is in the comment section down below. And I'll try to go through, talk about them in a new, in another video. And then uh, when I do some testing on these ones, uh, I'll have a little bit more information on those also. And definitely hit subscribe and stick around for the next video, which should be out in the next day or two, but it's gonna be on that right there. You can't really see it, you can't tell what it is, but that is the new replica surfaces. It's their new roaming background, which uh, I've been using for a week or so now, and it is incredible. So definitely stick around with that. I've got a bunch of new backgrounds to show off and that new mobile station. And if you end up getting any of these new oils that I mentioned, please let me know what you think of them and which ones you picked up in the comment section down below. And we'll see you in the next video.